Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today we're going to discuss further into polar coordinates and now look at the connection to Cartesian coordinates or the basic xy coordinates. So let's jump right in and go over this uh, topic. So basically, uh, the connection between polar and Cartesian coordinates can be seen from the figure below, which I'll draw soon, in which the pole, this is for the polar coordinates, corresponds to the origin of the Cartesian coordinates, and the polar axis coincides with uh, the positive x axis. So in other words, uh, what I'm going to do right now is combine both the polar and Cartesian coordinate system into one. So if we draw the x, y axis like this, let's draw this further out, x, y, and now let's say the origin here, this corresponds to the origin of the x, y axis as well as the pole or the origin of the uh, polar coordinates. And let's say we have a point here, and again now the polar axis coincides with the positive x axis that's on the right here, so I'm going to write this as the polar axis as well. So we're going to combine them together. So yeah, so if, if we have this point here in polar coordinate form, this can be written as like a line like this where this is R and this point P, we'll call it P, is going to be R and then the angle in polar coordinates is theta. So R theta, like that. But this exact same point in the XY coordinate system or the Cartesian coordinates, well that, that one we could just draw a line down here a perpendicular line, and now this height here is, is the y, and the distance across is the x. So in other words, at this point we have x, and then at this point all the way across here we have y. So then this point, in, in that's the polar coordinates in, in Cartesian coordinates, this is just, well, x and y. So yeah, basically if the point uh, P over here has Cartesian coordinates x, y, and polar coordinates r, Theta, then from the figure above, we could just use the definition of cosine and sine by using the um, opposite over hypotenuse to get the sine, and then the adjacent over hypotenuse to get the cosine. What we get is, so then from the figure above, we have cosine of the angle theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, x over r. And likewise for sine, we have sine is opposite, which is y, and then uh, hypotenuse is r. So we have y over r like that. Yeah, so thus what we have, if we just solve for x and y, we can just move the r's in front. So thus we have is x equals to uh, r cosine theta, write this r better, r times cosine theta, and for y we have y equals to sine, or r times sine, Theta. So there is the connection between the uh, Cartesian, I mean, I mean the polar coordinates of uh, R and theta, and then all the way to the Cartesian coordinates x and y. Yeah, so this could be seen as a set of parametric equations, actually. Yeah, and now although this equation or, or these equations above, I yeah, quickly fix, uh, fix that. So although these equations were deduced from the above figure, which illustrates the case for where r is greater than uh, 0 and where theta is between 0 and pi over 2. In other words, in this, uh, between this 0 to 90 degree uh, quadrant there, yeah, these equations are still valid for all values of r and theta. In fact, the equations above for sine and cosine are the general definitions of them for all angles. So uh, this one you can see from uh, just for, for sine, for example, opposite. Yeah, my bad, the phone just went off. But anyway, so from there you can see that sine is just opposite over hypotenuse for this quadrant. But even if the angle was across in this one over here or here, it's all the same by this general definition, and that's for cosine as well. So the above the above equations, fix this, allow a bunch of typos. So the above equations allow us to find the Cartesian coordinates of a point when the polar coordinates are known. So if you know these r and theta, you could find x and y. To find r and theta uh, when x and y are known, we could use the following equations. We could use, well, r, you could just look at the figure right here. 
And you could notice that, that by the Pythagorean theorem, r squared equals x, x squared plus y squared. And also tangent is just equal to, well, tan, tangent of theta is equal to just opposite over yeah, adjacent, y over x, like that. So r equals to, I mean, r squared equals to x squared plus y squared. So then we could solve for, uh, yeah, we could solve for r when we know x and y. Write this r better. And also, we could solve for theta by using tan theta equals to y over x, like that. So we have these sets of equations for getting from Cartesian to polar, and these above from polar to Cartesian. And again, this above here, this one is by the Pythagorean theorem. I just fix up the spelling there. So Pythagorean theorem, and this one here as well by definition. That's the definition of tang uh, tangent. Just you can think of it as opposite over adjacent of a right angle triangle. Yeah, and going further, basically these equations can be deduced from equations one, and I'll label that right here as one, so that we can have just a reference there, or simply read from the above figure as I did here, the Pythagorean theorem and by definition. You can just look at that and find them. Or if you want to go for just for completeness sake, I'll just solve it using these equations. So that's x and that's y. So what we'll have is, well, if we have x squared plus y squared, this just equals to, well, r, uh, the x is r, r times cosine, so we have an r, r squared cosine theta squared like that, plus r squared sine squared theta. You can factor out the r squared, and then we're, what we're left with is cosine squared plus sine squared theta like that where, well, this that just equals to one. This is by uh, the trig identity. So the uh, cos squared plus sine squared equals to one. So trig identity, like that, identity. And then that just equals to one. So in other words, what we have is x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. And likewise, we could also find this one tan uh, theta by using by using the, these above equations over there, and again we could just write uh, y over x equals two equals two well r sine theta that's what y is, and then r cosine theta that's what x is the r's cancel we're left with sine theta over cos theta which equals two this is just tan theta and this is another trig identity like that. And I could write that down as well. So trig identity as well. Identity. Or it could be well by definition, but it's pretty much the same thing. So anyways, that's one of the simplest trig identities. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. So that's how you could jump around from polar to Cartesian, basically using trigonometry. You could just look at this and use uh, just the basic uh, definitions of uh, hypotenuse, adjacent, and uh, opposite for trigonometry of this right angle triangle as well as the Pythagorean theorem to jump from the xy to the r theta or likewise r theta to xy. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this quick video. And uh, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.